Hello there, this is Alana Tucky. I'm a math faculty member at Jackson Community College in Jackson, Michigan. And I'm gonna give you a couple videos here on how to get started with my math lab. You've never used my math lab before. You need to get into a course. Your professor's assigned my math lab. What do you do? All right, so you need to go to open a browser. I would recommend Mozilla Firefox. It's free and it's better than um, Internet Explorer. But you open up Mozilla Firefox and you go to www.mymathlab.com and you should see a page that looks something like this. Now, if you have um, gotten into the course for the first time, then from then on you'll use this little login button right here. But the first time you need to get into a course, no matter what, you need to click on the register button. So I'm going to click register. And it opens up Pearson My Lab and Mastering.com, which is really the website we wanted to use anyway, but I figured that would be too hard to remember. MyMathLab.com is easy to remember. All right, so we go here. Now, again, normally, every day-to-day -day use, you're going to just, just be clicking Sign In because you'll have registered. But the first time you get into a course, even people that have used My Math Lab before, you need to register. So you need access. So you are going to click right here under Student. Now you need a course ID. Okay, so a course ID is your instructor's last name and then five numbers. Now every single course has a different ID. Like I've taught 30 courses, every single one of them had a different number. Um, different instructors will have different names and numbers, right? So you need to ask your instructor what their ID is. It changes all the time, right? So for example, I teach 133 online every single semester every single semester it has a different number so you have to wait and get that number so I'm going to pick this course which is one of the courses I'm teaching right now and I click continue now if you've used my math lab before say you've used it for some other class then you can do your username and password that you made up before okay if you've never used my math lab ever in your whole life you're going to click on create an account but before you do that double check over here and make sure that the course that's coming up is what you wanted. This is an 033 course that I'm teaching in 11 of fall, so fall 2011. That's the course ID I typed in. It's taught by Alana Tucky, that's me, and then Jackson Community College, and this is what it ends. If that doesn't sound right, then go down here to enter a different course ID and click on that. This is right though, this was the course I wanted. So I'm gonna click on create an account because I've never been a student before. We'll just pretend. Now, you're going to have to put in an email address. You want to put in an email address that you actually check. Do not put in an email address you never use because that's not going to help anybody. Your professor needs to be able to email you. And if you give them an email that you never check, then that's no good. Now, notice over here, as you're typing in a password, it won't let you type in a password that's less than eight characters you have to have at least one letter one number um, it doesn't include your name your username any of that stuff it can't include any unsupported characters things like decimal points and stuff like that okay so and then it's gonna make you type it again okay and you want to make sure that you remember both your username and email address and your password okay don't type in stuff that you're not going to remember and write it down somewhere. Don't leave it laying about or shoved in your bag. Put it somewhere safe that you know you can access in, if worse comes to worse. All right, now you got to put in your name. I'm going to put in my name. Oh, sorry, I typed that wrong. So the thing about a first name and last name, make sure you actually type your first name and last name. I know it, it seems crazy, but it's true <laughs> so you have to um, don't use initials don't use low all lowercase don't use all uppercase type it like you would for a document right capital then lowercase capital then lowercase um, then you have to pick a security question I'll pick this one okay and then you need to go down here and accept the licensing agreement and create an account there you go all right now here is where the money comes in okay you have to have paid for access to your course okay so you either have to have an access code that you've bought right from the bookstore or you can pay for it right here with a credit card all right that's where we'll pick up right next time